lovelies welcome back to my channel for today's video I'll be showing you guys how to get this purpley smoky eyeshadow look it's part of my Valentine's Day special except for the outfits the outfits won't be on video I'll be posting those on my Instagram account and I'll be posting my Instagram account down in the description box so if you guys want to see how to get this eyeshadow look please keep watching I'll be starting off with this purple color by BH Cosmetics and I'm using this 88 matte color eyeshadow palette I really don't know if they even come like you know with names of each color because there's a lot of purples and a lot of pinks and stuff but I already showed you guys like kind of like what color it is and I'm just blending that into my crease I decided to do both of my eyes today because why not and I've also seen like a lot of people that are doing pink eyeshadow looks for Valentine's Day and they are so cute I'm actually going to do a pink look for my next video and it's going to be sparkly since this one is pretty matte so yeah, I'm just blending that in into the crease. Make sure to blend the edges out. After this, I'm going to be taking another color and it is in this Laura Mercier Eye Art Artist Palette. And I'm taking the shade Plum Smoke. And I'm just going into the crease with that. A little bit under where the other color went and just blending that in the front and the back just everywhere I really like this color you know I've never really tried any purple colors on my eyes cuz I'm not like a big purple fan but after this makeup look girl I like it a lot Anyway, I'm going to go in with this darker purple, and it is the violet ink on this palette. I'm pretty much just doing the same thing. I'm going back and forth on both eyes, just creating a little bit more depth. Look how pretty. And you know, just blend like always. After this, I'm going to be going in with my Fit Me Concealer in Light. And I'm going to be taking a concealer brush. This one's by a Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to carve out. Like if you're doing a cut crease, but kind of just go like halfway. Or not even like fully halfway, like just the first part of the eye. And just carve that out. Make sure that line is sharp and don't go like into the dark. Just fill it in a little bit. And then... I do not wait any longer because it's gonna like I don't want it to transfer and then ruin the whole eye look so after I do that I just go right in with this color it is called vanilla nuts and just apply that right over to set the concealer that I put on my eye and just blend the edge out not where you carved it, but you know, the other edge. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other eye. And now they're not going to look like alike alike because I'm just starting out and this is the first time I try this. But it looks pretty dang good. 
and just carve it out and blend a little. It's a lot darker, but since I don't have the best lighting, it makes it look a little light. I just blend it out and put more of the vanilla nuts on it. <laughs> If you guys are going to recreate this look, I hope you guys tag me in it. I would really like to see somebody tag me in something that I did. Or inspired them to do. You know. That would be awesome and it would make my day. So I'm going to go back in with this dark color, the violet ink. And I'm just going to go into the very corners. The outer corner. And I'm gonna blend after that I'm gonna be taking my eyeliner and this one is the Tardist clay paint liner by Tarte and I'm gonna just do the the huge the wing so we can fly a little Yes. But it's not going to stop here, y'all. It is not going to stop here. After this, I'm going to go in with another liner that I actually just got. So this was my first time trying it out. But first, I have to sharpen the heck out of the liner okay I mean not so okay you know but after that after I finish that I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild mega liner and it is a case of blue which actually looks purple to me that's why I actually bought it but I don't know it just creates a really nice pop of color and I'm just gonna put it on the ohos aka eyes if y'all didn't know yeah just a tiny tiny line above the eyeliner and that is the magic that is all you need yeah just Put some of plum smoke under the eyes and violet ink as well you know I always make like well not me I'm pretty sure everybody makes like the weirdest faces when they're putting something under their eyes or just makeup or especially mascara I make like the weirdest face like mm, I don't know I'm going to be taking this Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. I'm going to apply these lashes and these are the... I'm not quite sure, but I'll put them down in the description box. So yeah, this is the look of the eyes, for the eyes, and I'm going to go in with this, with lipstick, and I'll be using this Milani Amore, Amore Matte Lip Cream in 18 Obsession. I like this lipstick but I don't love it because it makes my lips dry out a lot so every time I apply it I have to put like a ton of lip balm under it 
but other than that it looks really pretty. I am a huge fan of dark colors for my lips. And yes. I'm going to be spraying my face with this hard candy. Sheer Envy Hydrating Mist. And after that, I'm applying some highlight. And this is a stick highlighter. And it's by Maybelline. The new Master Strobing Stick in Medium. And I just apply my regular Urban Decay Aura on top. I think that it's yeah I think that's how you say it or something like that so you look all glowy and this is the final look y'all Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you already know what to do and give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm thinking about posting more than once a week. So if you guys want to watch more videos or want me to upload more than once a week, please comment an emoji down below and that'll let me know that you guys want to watch more videos. This is also just one part of the Valentine's Day series that I told you guys I would do. There might be a second or third part. Who knows? Um, so yeah, that is it for now, guys. Mwah.